What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly price products for your dropshipping store. Now I know time is money so as always we're going to be jumping straight into the value. Let's go. Alright so my pricing strategy takes into account a couple of factors. Number one is profitability. If you're using Facebook ads, then you need to assume a minimum cost per purchase of about $5, which is honestly on the better side. That means that you can't sell a $2 product for $6 and expect to make any money. I rarely even promote products that are under $20 anymore, especially using Facebook ads. It'll be easier once you have more data, but find the minimum that you can price your product at and still make a profit of at least $5. And really $5 is only for free plus shipping. The second factor that I look at is competitors pricing. Now this isn't really for the benefit of customers shopping around, just because you're never gonna be able to compete with Amazon and Walmart as far as pricing goes. Basically, I'm only looking at competitors pricing to see what they're selling it for. Oftentimes, if it's a successful store, then they'll be selling it for the maximum value of the product, which we'll get into in a second. Also, another reason to look at competitors is to see if they branded the product, which has allowed them to charge higher prices. The third factor that I take into account when pricing my products is maximum value. Basically, this just means the most money that you can possibly make. So for example, if you have one product and you price it at $10 and two people buy it, then you make $20. But if you price the same product at $25 and then only one person buys it, you're still going to make more money charging a higher price. Basically, the only way to figure out your product's maximum value is to test a whole bunch of different prices. The fourth factor that I take into account is perceived value. One of the best examples of this is jewelry because you can literally take a ring that costs you $3 and you can sell it for $40. Why? Because people are used to paying that for jewelry. It looks high quality and if you brand it the right way then it sounds high quality too. If you're selling a unique product that people have never seen before, then you basically control the perceived value. So if you make your product look and sound as high quality as possible, then you're gonna be able to charge higher prices. All right, so that's basically all that you need to know as far as pricing products go. I would say that you need to make at least $10 per product to cover all of your expenses. Anything less than $10 just isn't worth it for long-term scalability, in my opinion. But if you want to make your first sales, maybe with free plus shipping or something, then you can charge lower prices and get those first sales. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've been getting a ton of questions regarding this, so I hope this helped you out. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,